And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, Muppets Most Wanted. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! Spoilers! Yay! There's this frog named Constantine, who apparently is so evil they named him after a bad Keanu Reeves movie. And the bad news is he looks exactly like another frog, Garrison Keillor. But also Kermit! Oh my god, what are the odds of that happening? Except in The Prince of the Pulper, Ernest Goes to Jail, and 100% of every 80s and 90s cartoons that ever came out. So Constantine teams up with Ricky Javez, who has the diabolical plan of doing his humor once without pissing people off, or as he likes to call it, the Emmys Take Two, and they plan to take Kermit and replace him with Constantine. Why? So they can use their world tour as a cover to spend lots of money to get lots of reviews and pack the seats to steal lots of money, which apparently they already have. Oh no! What are the Muppets gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say a lot of fourth wall jokes! Hey, did you know that we're Muppets and we're in a Muppet movie? Why, yes I did! That's like 90% of our material, folks. So they take Kermit and they throw him in a great big prison in Russia? And their security guard, Tina Fey, is like, Welcome to my failed Saturday Night Live character. Oh no, what are you gonna do to me? An out of nowhere song sequence followed by a bajillion cameos. Oh, so you mean like every scene before this? Pretty much. But it turns out Tina Fey has the massive hots for Kermit the Frog. Which is unlikely, seeing how if they don't allow homosexuality in Russia, I doubt they'll allow amphibianality. Which sounds like a Mortal Kombat finishing move. <laughs> Constantine has to distract the rest of the Muppets, so he asks Miss Piggy to marry him. Which I thought they already did in Muppets Take Manhattan. Or was that just part of the show? Well, even if it was, haven't the Muppets, like, met themselves 20 times in these movies? Everyone's upset about Spider-Man rebooting. They never point out that the Muppets reboot every sequel. It's like a kid's version of the Evil Dead movies. Which might be an oxymoron, the more I think about it. But then the Zach Braff out-of-place Muppet points out that Constantine isn't Kermit. And so they go to the Russian prison and break him out. And Tina Fey is like, No, my one and only love! I will invade any country necessary to find him! This joke has been abandoned due to the fact that I never watched TV and was not aware of current events. I was not aware that Putin himself is actually a frog. So Miss Piggy is about to marry Constantine when she finds out that Kermit comes in? And she's like, Kermit number one, are you Kermit? Of course I am, even though I sound like Ben Borat impression. Kermit number two, are you Kermit? As long as you ask me not to marry you, keeping one of the most bizarre cock teases going on in puppet history. Kermit! High five! Oh. So it looks like the day is saved, but then evil Tina Fey comes in! I am here to be tagged on threat! Well, we'll fight you with our obvious moral lesson. Will it be dragged out past four minutes? Isn't it always? Oh, maybe Russia can find it in its heart to have compassion and kindness for all of God's living creatures. Again, totally didn't watch any TV recently. They can be hilarious as Rocky Four was supposed to be a comedy. So the Muppets do one more show in Russia. All the cameos are horribly CG'd on a wall. And nobody ever questions what happened to Jason Segel or Amy Adams. Hooray! So this Muppet movie was really funny. It's like the first one had a lot of heart like the first Muppet movie. And this one had a lot of jokes like the second Muppet movie, which means the third Muppet movie should probably be mediocre. Then they'll start ripping off literary classic, destroy the franchise by going into space, pour dirt in the grave with horrible TV specials, make a comeback on YouTube, and then it all starts over again. Wow, I think I just figured out what the rainbow connection is. The lovers, the dreamers, and repeats. Hey, as long as you use that Tim Curry Muppet again, I'm set. You mean that wasn't a Muppet? I will never believe that. This is shittery bum saying, change! You got change! Oh, come on, have a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Come on, I can get some celebrity cameos! Holly Shore usually asks me for money.